Hi, today we're going to be working on this uh, Asus Fire 1. Uh, the problem is you power it on, all the LEDs come on here, but the screen stays totally black. Okay, you can hear the fan, and that's it. So, let's see if we can find out what's going on with this machine. Okay, so um, I found a problem on this machine. Uh, if you do research on the internet, the most common problem with the ASM1, black screen of death they call it, is a corrupted BIOS. Um, and they suggest that you do a BIOS recovery, download the BIOS, put on a USB stick, press um, FN and escape, and then boot the computer and reload the BIOS. Uh, in this case, this particular model, it was not the case at all. Okay, uh, I'm just going to show you quickly what I did. Alright, so this is the model NAV50. Okay, what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to strip it completely. Remove all the screws that you can see around. And the screws from the covers here. Once you remove those screws, you need to remove the Wi-Fi card okay if you like you can just take off the screws holding the hard drive put that in a safe place okay then what you want to do is um, there's some clips along the top of the keyboard that hold in the Keyboard, you want to just slowly pry and unclip those clips and then undo the clip that holds in the ribbon cable for the keyboard. You need to release the another ribbon cable down here which says MB motherboard and the one that goes to the touchpad. Okay, and then you will have to un take out any other screws you can see here on this cover. Okay, remove your SD card the blank and then what you want to do is get a guitar pick and just go around the top cover to slowly re release the clips okay and what you end up is removing this top cover like that right now that you have the motherboard exposed <coughs> you'll notice that the motherboard is bridged to another board on the left hand side and this controls your your webcam, a USB port your headphones, microphone inputs uh, there's the SD card reader and the sound card you connect your speakers to that and on the other side that's where your Wi-Fi card plugs in what I did was I disconnected this bridge and I powered on the netbook without this board connected and it came on so all we had to do was get the part number I ordered this off eBay uh, 10 15 dollars um, a used part um, replace that and I'll just show you before I reassemble and just screw everything together okay so let's just plug in the charger and just press the power button and there we go it boots okay no boot device because I've removed the hard drive but um, replacing this board here has uh, brought this laptop back to life for about 10 15 dollars so definitely worth the fix thanks for watching remember there's always a fix